Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Thank you for clicking. And yeah, I'm just gonna get into this. Mary Fran um, tagged me in a 2019 reflection tag and yeah, I thought the questions were amazing and I really loved her answers to her questions. And I cannot wait to watch everyone else's reflection tags. I see that many of you have already posted yours. I'm actually just getting around to filming mine. I had to kick my husband out of the house because I'm still not comfortable uh, doing videos in front of him. <laughs> what is the one thing you did in 2019 that you are most proud of? That I have kind of buried some past issues I've had with the people who raised me. I have defeated the victim uh, stage that I've been in with these people. After, like, There's nothing they could do to change whether or not it hurts or doesn't hurt. So basically I had to let go of um, expecting that they could fix it for me. What was the most fun event happening vacation from 2019? I went to the zoo earlier this year with my um, in-laws, my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, we walked around and we saw all the animals. I saw an elephant and just some other things and it was it was a really, really cool experience and also it was just really fun to hang out with um, people. <laughs> what is one thing you learned in 2019? So this is hard too. I feel like there's so much that I've learned so far, but most, um, the biggest thing that sticks out in my head is that I am capable of changing anything that I want to change, uh, like mostly. Obviously, I can't change things that can't be changed. I, I hope that made sense. But I can change the physical um, look of my body. I can also change like what affects me, what triggers me, and I can change what I choose to spend my time on. I can choose what I want and what I don't want, and I don't have to have um, an explanation for those things. I feel like in the past I've felt like I had to defend my stance on something, whether or not it was personal or not. Like, if I didn't want to go somewhere, or if I didn't want to hang out with somebody, I, I felt I had to come up with a reason Name why. Name one thing that you do better now than you did at this time last year. Um, one thing I do better now. Um, like, just in general, my mobility is insanely better. But there's many things that I've improved upon during this year, and I hope to just continue. I really do. I hope that it's just something that just never stops. I want to continue to get better and better and just feel better, and hopefully I'm able to um, share like my, my, my journey on getting better with, you know, losing weight and being healthier, and also I feel like a bigger part of my channel is actually more so me becoming comfortable with who I am and not allowing my past to be something that I use to stay where I'm at, if that makes sense. Like, I don't have to continue to be the same person just because X, Y, or Z happened to me when I was younger. Are you setting a news, New Year's resolution? If so, what is it? So I don't think I am setting, like, an actual New Year's resolution. I feel like that's going to be, like, worse for me if I do because this isn't about starting January 1st and ending like a week later because I'm not motivated. I just want to continue what I'm doing. I want to continue to be healthy and I want to, well, getting healthy because I don't feel that I'm very healthy currently, but I want to make sure that I stick to it. So maybe my New Year's resolution is to just find motivation where I feel there is none. Do you have any event or vacation planned for 2020? No, <laughs> um, I don't, well, maybe, maybe things will change. I don't know. As it sits right now, the answer to that question is simply no. It would be cool to change that answer uh, throughout the year and as things change, but as of now, no. Name one thing you hope happens in 2020. One thing that I ha hope happens in 2020 is that, um, I don't know. That's hard because there's so many things that I can dream could happen. Um, in 2020, I hope that I can... Mm, this one's going to be deep. All right. 
I hope in 2020 that I learn that I am lovable and that I'm worthy no matter what my body looks like and no matter what stupid thing I might say. So basically, gain some freaking confidence. I want to gain as much confidence, confidence as it takes to do the things I love and you know, to enjoy myself while I'm doing them and not be con self-conscious of my body or the things that I choose to say or things that I stutter or whatever. I just want to be accepted as myself and I feel like I put more stress on that like for myself than other people do for me, if that made sense. Eight, where do you see yourself this time next year? And pff, next year around, okay. So next year around this time, I will be 30. And I have a big thing about 30. Like, I don't like aging to begin with, but I feel like turning 30 is a milestone that's just like, all right, if you haven't adulted by now, then you're, you're just, what the hell are you doing? So I feel like by 30, and these, these are not obtainable uh, for someone in my position, but they're also something that I feel like if I'm not working towards at least that I'm never going to get to them, let alone after 30. So the things I'm going to set in place for, um, you know, next year around this time is I, I want to be able to at least, um, you know, do normal adult things without having my husband hold my hand through them. I would also like to begin um, learning how to drive and things like that. I don't drive. Um, that's a whole nother story. But I would like to begin the process of um, becoming comfortable with the idea of driving. And this doesn't even mean I have to end up driving. I mean, I have really bad anxiety when it comes to being in a car, let alone driving. So I feel like maybe it'll never be obtainable for me. Um, long story short, uh, fear of driving kind of runs in my family. My mother was definitely afraid of it and she never drove. And my brother doesn't even drive. And I also have the same fear. And so I feel like even if I don't overcome it, I would at least like to say I tried and I did something um, to to get closer to being able to drive. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's what I'm going to leave that as. It sounds pathetic and I'm sorry, but that's just who I am and that's definitely something I deal with. So that's the end of this tag. I hope you guys enjoyed. But um, thank you for watching and uh, I will see you. Oh, wait. I forgot to tag, okay, so I need to tag people before I leave. So I'm going to tag three people, Life with Jillian. I'm also going to tag Gator Bait Bill. If you see this and you don't do this tag, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna be upset. If you are not doing, like, I have not seen a video from you in too long. You promised me you were going to do the full body weight ones when I did mine, and you said you would do yours first, but you never did. I feel like you need to do this one. I feel like you've called me out before on my bull crap. I'm going to call you out on yours. Gator Bait Bill, if you see this video, you have to do the 2019 reflection tag. I'm also going to tag Zontel Farwood. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to see your guys' tags. Gator Bait Bill, you're on the spot, buddy. Thanks for watching.